Yeah, I mean, we're having, we're having a blast. And I think the biggest thing with the young guys that we do have in there, I mean, they're, they're growing up, they're playing their, really their first college ball. So it's been cool to see them kind of mature through that process and really just understand what goes with the work week, how to take care of your body, how to prep. Um, so it's been fun to see the guys really take that step. Because really, once you, once you hit that like week three or four of your college career, you kind of get a feel for what's going on. And like your head's not spinning anymore. You know what to expect. So I, I think around us, we've had a lot of guys who are kind of getting their first snaps. Um, well, not anymore. I mean, they play a lot of ball now. But they've, they've gone through that process of maturing and understanding what goes into winning football. And that's been, that's been fun. How has getting Trey back and Carlos Boardingham's development how has that allowed you to expand the offense and what you're able to do? Yeah, I mean, I think, uh, I think those guys are playing fast. And I think um, they're playing confident in what they're doing. So and when I know I have a matchup, um, I trust them to make the play. So I think across the board, like I said, I mean, the guys are the guys are really getting coming in their own, understanding what goes into the winning football, like I said. So the guys are doing what they're supposed to do, they're executing, um, and those two have done a great job of that. So it's been, it's been fun to play with. Graham, what do you hold out for winning against Tennessee? This is a rivalry game. I mean, have you ever thought about, you know, what it would be like? Maybe you'd never have to buy a drink again or going, <laughs> going into that whole thing. Like, what, you know, if, if you could pull off another rivalry win against a team like this? Yeah, I think any time. I mean, I've played in, in some rivalry games. I think that's one thing that I mean, you, once you spend some time in college, you, you have an appreciation for them. So I think any time you go into a game that's, that's a rivalry game, you gotta you got to appreciate that. you got to enjoy that process, whether it's, the whole week of, of seeing all the stuff on the TVs or all that. I mean, there's countless different things you do during a rivalry week, but uh, yeah, I mean, we're excited for it. It's another opportunity to play, um, and yeah, I'm excited for this team. <laughs> it was good. Uh, body needed it. Um, I mean, I think you anytime you get a bye week. I've never had one mid-season. I've always had it like week three or four, which has been wild. So uh, it's nice right in the middle. Um, get your body. Get your, get your Mental, right? So it was a, it was a good body. Did you do anything special to, to kind of get your body back to where you want want it to be, or? Yeah. I just normal recovery stuff. Um, spending time up here, hot tub, cold tub, um, treatment. So for me, it was really just and just sleep. I mean, I think sleep's the greatest recovery tool in the world. So for me, that was a, <laughs> a lot of sleep this weekend. <laughs> what, what stands out about Georgia's defense? Yeah, I think. Uh, Definitely multiple in what they do as far as fronts, coverages, pressures. Um, I think they're physical up front. They're fast. Uh, I think you see that all on tape. I mean, they fly around, make plays. Physical, like I said, physical defense. So you cross the board. Um, I mean, they, they they play a brand of football on defense that you can you can see when you're.